It was an ambitious mess, the type of game that players often ask for but rarely get. Star Wars Galaxies then released in 2003, and I think it's fair to say that it was pretty much in many ways the Star Citizen of its time. Now I'm fully aware I'm going to get roasted for saying that, just for a moment step back then and forget about all the controversy and funding issues around Star Citizen, all the claims of it being a scam and just look at the ambition. That ambition of living a life in space, this is what Star Wars Galaxies was all about. Right here on screen you can see Star Wars Galaxies Restoration 3. It's free to play, free to freely available actually, you can download it using the links in the video description, have a look there and you'll find everything you need to know. Basically it's a fan recreation project, there's a couple of others, Star Wars Legends and SWG Emu, Star Wars Galaxies Emulated I do believe. Again more links for those in the video description. Now the story of Star Wars Galaxies it has a very interesting uh, history, and this comes in two parts, the development side of things and the gameplay side of things. In regards to gameplay, here players could choose to be a starship pilot, a smuggler, a bounty hunter, or pursue more creative endeavours such as becoming an artisan, an architect or even a cook. You see, the goal of the developers at the time was to create a world within which players were dependent upon each other. Ultimately, this led to things such as player-run cities, player-run stores, and even interestingly, medical gameplay, which itself was not too unlike at the concepts behind the recent additions to Star Citizen. Now, the story behind the development of Star Wars Galaxies is perhaps a cautionary tale, and much of this was due to the time frame within which the game was being created. 2003 was a bit of a tumultuous time for MMOs. You see, the genre as a whole was writing off the successes of the massive popular Ultima Online and EverQuest, and both of these had a very different idea about what MMO gameplay should be. Ultima Online thought it should be a sandbox open world in which players have basically lived out their lives and chosen their own activities. EverQuest, on the other hand, was all about theme park story curated content. The genre could have really gone in either direction, uh, Star Wars Galaxies initially betted on the sandbox mode, but as we all know, World of Warcraft come along and kicked the idea of sandbox right in the balls with its overwhelming success and a focus on curated content. So with Star Wars Galaxies being very much a product of this particular time, with these big rifts going on between the direction of what MMO would take, it found itself torn in two different directions. The game initially started out as a sandbox, allowing players to uh, choose their own path but ultimately moved towards more theme park story driven content in which the players were actually led by the developers and by the uh, released content. Of course this is a rather dramatic change as you would expect and it did in the end lead to the downfall of the game. Uh, eventually the players just dwindled away and the servers were finally closed. But despite its ultimate fate the thing that really matters is that in its golden years Star Wars was an exemplary title and there's a reason you'll often hear some Star Citizen fans refer to it and point it as a great example of what an online living in a space themed world should really be about. And this then is where Star Wars Galaxies Restoration 3 and the other similar themed projects really do come into their own. Now, if you really want to try out Star Wars Galaxies from its golden years then you could do a lot worse to check out the links in the video description. Yes it looks very very dated but ultimately it's not about the graphics and it's not even really about the way that you see some of the ancient animations here and all the rest of it, it's about the execution of the concept. In fact there's two standout things here. The first I noticed is that there's a lot of ideas here that would ultimately form the basis of many modern online games and missions and career paths are just two examples of this. The second idea is really the scope of the game and how over time that just kept expanding. Now this is something you don't really see too often, I think perhaps one of the best modern examples of this really is Warframe. That's a game where just so much additional content has been added on over the years. It stayed true to its original ideas, its original concept, but just continued to expand. Now Star Wars Galaxies kind of did this in many different ways, just building upon the uh, original theme and the idea of living in a Star Wars universe. For example, the expansion Lightspeed to come out just a few years after the game's release, allowing players to own and fly starships. And that includes a full-on space-based combat as well, which is even to this day still pretty good. 
Now, you don't just have to take my word for it. You can go and have a look for yourself. It is uh, completely free after all. Not well worth a look, even if it is somewhat dated. Now, whether you do go and try it out, whether you've tried it out in recent years, or whether you're a veteran and played it back in its golden era, I'd love to hear from you. What are your thoughts and feelings about Star Wars Galaxies? Do let me know in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.